Hello, so if you actually use Mac OS, you might know what Spotlight is. Anyways, do you know what it can do? Do you know the power of it? I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple of tips and tricks here. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up? So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go through a screen share and I'm gonna show you guys some um, different things you can do with Spotlight. And they're going to be simple. I mean, just maybe like, you know, five or 10 different things you can do. Now, everyone might know some of them. I mean, obviously, you know, there's some basic things you can do with Spotlight that are pretty common. But I'm going to go ahead and try to show people a couple things that are maybe not so common. And uh, you may not know all of them, but you may know most of them. So anyways, let me know what you think. Give me some comments on things that you found as well. And I'll share my screen here in a second and we'll kind of show everyone what it's all about. And then, you know, is it useful? I don't know. I mean, things like this you can do on the web as well. Um, sometimes you can do them on Google and things like that. But if you really get good with like key strokes as far as being able to open things very quickly in search this can you know really help you a lot if you know me on the other hand I like to use Google and a lot of stuff but um, but spotlight can definitely help and speed up some things and certain things and I'll show you here in a second what they are so stay tuned let's get into it and then I'll catch you on the other side oh yeah and one more thing I'm not taking a total technical approach at this so if you're a super techie then, uh, you know, obviously you, you don't have to beat me up in the comments, but I'm just going to take a nice leisurely type attitude towards this. So let's get into it. So if you go up to the upper right hand corner up here, click on the little magnifying glass. It's going to say then search spotlight right here in the middle. You can move this bar around so you can position it anywhere you want to. So just really quickly, if you want to pull up a program really quickly and you hit that, um, you know, I have Photoshop, so I can just type in Photoshop, hit enter really quickly. And what's going to happen is it's going to launch Photoshop if I hit enter there. So you can see it's launching Photoshop really quickly. It takes two seconds. I don't want that open though, so I'm going to go ahead and quit. Um, so basically, if I go ahead and click on that again and I just left it alone, I didn't click enter, it's going to pull up in Photoshop, but it's going to have a lot of the images that I used last and some of the other things in here. And it's going to have movies and news and a whole bunch of other stuff about Photoshop. Um, but I mean, obviously it pulls up information, but if you just click on the very first one, it's going to launch it for you. So that's one way you can do things. I mean, it's pretty, pretty simple. A cool thing with Spotlight though, is you can say, you know, let's say you want to search for images or you want to search for movies and things like that. Um, I can do something like this photos from last week. What it's going to do basically is see that it's going to show some photos from the last week right here. But if you want to show them all, you just go down to the show all in folder and double click on that. It's going to pull up at all of them from last week. So these are the only photos that I had from last week. So let me go ahead and shut that down. So let me do that one more time. So I'm going to go up to Spotlight. Let me just do photos from last month. And this is going to be searching my computer. I'm sorry. Uh, actually, let me go ahead and do that again. So photos from last month. And then I'm going to go down to here, show all. And as you can see, there's a lot more in here now. Um, not just the ones from the week, but a whole bunch from the last month or so. So that's actually really good. So that's how you can actually go about searching photos the last week or the last month. It works with basically anything as well. Um, you can go in here, you can just type in, let's just say movies from last month. This is on my system, of course. These are some of the ones I've made over here, but then show all in folder, just double click that. And it's gonna show me all the movies that I've made or have downloaded or what have you over the last month. And so if you wanna find files really quickly, that's good. And that's what Finder is really good at right there. I'm, I'm sorry, the uh, spotlight. So let's go ahead and do a couple other things up here. And let me go ahead and remove this. So obviously you can do certain specific things like currency converting. So if you go 50 USD to euros like that, and you just type it in really quickly, you'll see over here $50 is 45, 40 euros. So it does conversion for you. And then it does a bunch of other things down here like Swiss francs. Obviously, though, if you, you know, if you, if you, if it wasn't listed there, I mean, it will be, but like I could just do Swiss, you know, basically you can do Swiss, um, Frank, like that, and it'll actually put it up here. So if you know the conversion, um, it'll actually put it up here and then it lists basically four other ones down here like yen and stuff. So anyways, you can type in 50 USD, which is US dollars to Swiss francs or to euros or to British pounds or to Japanese yen, Canadian dollars or any other kind of currency that you have, and it'll give you a kind of a real-time conversion there, which is kind of nice. So the other thing that uh, this does too is it does sports scores. So if you put type in like Chicago Bears score, um, basically it'll pull up the last score that they had and give you a little bit of statistics also some for some of the other NFL games. 
and it lets you go to like the ESPN and stuff over here if you want to uh, for the Chicago Bears. But you can get really quick um, scores, obviously, of any teams that you want. Plus, you can do something like schedule. And what that'll do basically is it'll pull up in the schedule as well um, right here. So it basically shows you this, the Bears schedule and all their losses and wins and things like that. So obviously it's helpful if you just want to pull up something. Let's say you're like, you want to know a, a ball game score or something really quickly. You can use it. It basically will search the web and get that information for you in Finder. Um, a couple of the things that it's good for. Let's look in here. Um, let's say you're sitting at home and you are, are craving pizza. You can just type in pizza um, close to me. And basically what will happen is that it'll list a bunch of pizza places like this that are really close to you. have a map over here and basically show you who, when they're open, the hours, and then you can actually go click on Yelp too to do some suggestions that are close to you. But you can also, you know, this works with everything. So if you do like, um, sorry, you have to put in food there. I'm sorry. Otherwise it won't know. But um, basically it does list a lot of different places that is close and you can actually go ahead and then order the food if you wanted to by calling them. All right, one of the other things you can do that I think is kind of cool, let's say you are tracking a flight and you can go to websites like this and track different flights. This is Flight United 927. So here's the actual number, UAL 927. That's a flight that obviously that's the flight number, so you want to have to get that flight. But let's say you had that on a ticket or you had that of uh, the person that was traveling. You can basically pull up Spotlight over here and you can paste that in there. What it'll do actually, if you look at Spotlight, it tells you the flight information. And it's kind of cool because actually up here it'll show you basically where the plane is in relation to the destination. It gives you some other things you can go through over here as well. But it does tell you departed arriving early, 2 hours and 13 minutes remaining, duration 11 hours and 40 minutes. Baggage claims CL6, so it gives you a lot of information about the flight. It will tell you if it's delayed and all that kind of stuff as well. So if you do have a flight number, um, it will definitely pull that up for you and you can check someone's flight number as well. All right, of course, this can be used for like a dictionary. So if you just put define and you put any word like urban, um, basically what it'll do is it'll actually give you the definition of the word here. Again, these are all things you can do with uh, YouTube and things like that. It just depends how quick you know you want to be able to just get into something. Um, obviously, this is always open right here. So it just depends what you want to do. But obviously, it pulls up other websites here. So really quickly, you can just click on dictionary.com. And what it'll do is it'll open up Urban here as well. And it gives you more information about it. So if you wanted more information than what it's giving, you can always use those side links there. Some other things it can do, you know, a lot of people are just doing like small measurements and stuff like, you know, five inches to feet. Um, I'm sorry. If you do that five inches to feet, it'll basically the same thing as like the currency that I had mentioned before. So five inches is 0 0.42 feet. And then it gives you centimeters, millimeters, yards, and meters. And then it gives you some websites over here to calculate stuff as well. But it does kind of, um, you know, you can do currency, uh, inches to feet or cups, you know, to, to ounces, things like that. Maybe when you're cooking or something. So that's kind of helpful. That's one other thing it can do pretty nicely. Of course, just like anything else, it can get the weather. So if you put weather in Chicago and let it come up, It'll basically give you the weather here. It gives you each day of the weather here and basically the, you know, obviously the time for the rest, the rest of today, the time, 49 degrees. And then again, you can always just go to weather.com or AccuWeather. You just basically double click it and it's going to go ahead and open up the weather for Chicago, that particular region. So you can get to websites really quickly as well. I mean, that's another way to launch stuff really quickly. So if you go up to, again, here up here, let's say you have Spotlight right here. And you don't have any, let's say you don't have uh, Google open or anything like that, or if, if you know you don't have any web browser open, you can just type in ESPN and click on ESPN and basically ESPN will come up in the browser like that. So that's another thing if you want to get to websites really quickly without actually pulling up the browser. Um, you can just type in the website name, enter, and it should pull up the website right away. And then finally, you know, just basic searches too, like Dermot Kennedy's a, a good musician that I listen to all the time. If you just type in Dermot Kennedy songs, you can see basically, um, it's going to pull up a bunch of different websites for you to kind of look at. And, you know, obviously it's going to say, it's going to give you some lyric sites, but then iTunes store, it's going to then give you some web videos. So you can basically click on a web video like this one and let's see where it takes us to YouTube. And then it's going to basically pull up in the web too the web uh, version of it where you can watch the video. This is obviously Outnumbered, which is one of his songs, and you can go ahead and listen to that if you want to. And then finally, you can type in things like who is Donald Trump if you're look, interested in different types of people. <laughs> obviously, he's somebody that's in the news quite a bit now. Wikipedia uh, here, and maybe you can go ahead and read a little bit about him. So obviously, you love him or you hate him, but basically, he's someone that's in the news. So that's basically how this all works. and. Uh, 
you know, it's it's pretty uh, straightforward. It takes a little bit of getting used to because there's some terminology that you do have to kind of search for a certain way. It can get frustrating at points. I tend to like Google a little bit better, but you know, those are some tips that I have. So go ahead and give it a shot and let us know what you think. All right. So what did you think? So. There, I mean, there. You know, obviously, it's not going to save the world or anything like that. I mean, these are things that uh, may save a little bit of time, um, but they're not going to basically, you know, save your entire day for you. So, anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. Like I said, send me some different examples of things that you think you can do as well in Spotlight. Um, I know there's a lot of power things you can do. With but, you know, using um, Finder and different things like that. So I'll get into that maybe in a different video right now. I just wanted to show the basic things. I mean, you know, what are people going to normally use this for that aren't like maybe obviously um, a computer geek or something like that? I mean, what are normal people going to use Spotlight for? So that's what I try to kind of focus on today is just, you know, going through the top, maybe, you know, like I said, five or 10 different things. Anyways, like I said before, I do videos every week, a couple of them, and I do things on technology and finance. Um, I also do some on travel. I'm going to do a couple of videos coming up here like on, on different countries, safest countries to visit and things like that. So go ahead and stay tuned and uh, let me know if you guys uh, obviously like the videos. You know, hit the like button if you can and also subscribe. It's going to help me. Just try to get to that thousand mark and then I can finally, you know, rest a little bit. And Still going to do two to, you know, hopefully two videos a week um, until the foreseeable future until something happens or the Google changes all their algorithms or something. So anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you soon.